Next is married women. Okay, husband's liability for wife's tort. If wife is committing a tort or a woman is committing a tort and she is married or she gets married eventually, is the husband liable for the wrong or no? So again, tort is something which is uncodified and it is derived from the common law principles. Whatever was going on, we have derived it from there. At common law, like initially, if the wife committed a tort, there could be an action against both husband and wife because wife could not be sued alone. It was not allowed initially that uh, you are filing the case against the wife only. So both of them would be made parties to the case. A husband was thus liable for tort of, the, of his wife committed after marriage. After marriage, whatever she is committing for that husband would also come along. Under Married Women's Property Act 1882, a husband was also liable for whatever she did before her marriage for that also. For that also husband was liable, but to the extent of property he acquired through her. If husband is acquiring any property because of this marriage or because of this relation, to the extent of the property, because mostly in case of civil wrongs, compensation is provided. So what would be the amount of compensation? You need not pay it from your own pocket, but how much ever you have uh, received from such property, uh, to that extent, you will be held liable. But there were law Indian reforms. Law? Yeah, sorry? Is this Indian law or... No, no, England? it is foreign, foreign law. England. Okay. Yeah. But there were uh, reforms. Uh, there were reforms to it and it has changed the position and now husband is not liable for the thought of his wife whether committed by her before or after marriage merely because he is uh, her husband. If husband and wife are joint tort features, then they can be made jointly liable. Otherwise, if wife has done something, wife would be answerable for it. Husband has done something, husband would be answerable for it. As such, the relation uh, do not affect. Same ways in case of parents also, we should not be making the parent liable unless and until there is some sort of vicarious liability or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, before we continue, I wanted to inform you about my life mentorship program for LLB students or law aspirants. Law subjects and law topics need detailed clarity. We get that with the help of cases, examples and detailed explanation. It's definitely not possible to include everything in these short videos. If you find my videos easy to understand and you are looking for some professional help, in preparing for your examination, you can join my live mentorship program. Here you will be getting exam tips, answer writing skills, detailed notes that you can refer for your examination, cases, examples, and in a very easy way, topics will be explained. I have live classes going on for a lot of subjects as of now. To know more about it, you can drop me a message on this WhatsApp number. I'm also helping a lot of students in writing their assignments. If you need any such help or for any queries, any suggestions, you can drop me a message on this WhatsApp number. And now let's continue with our video. Mm -hmm.